GitHub Copilot Chat, Copilot Enterprise, and all the other news from GitHub Universe 2023, plus recaps of Microsoft Ignite, OpenAI's Dev Day, and a pick of the week that is pure imagination. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Developer Advocate at GitHub, and this is a show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. Please like and subscribe. And look, you guys, it has been a minute. Uh, I have not done a show in a while. In fairness to me, I was busy with GitHub Universe last week where I not only got this hoodie and beanie, but I also managed to lose my voice, so clearly a good time was had by all. But GitHub Universe was not the only big event to happen in the last few weeks. We also had Microsoft Ignite and OpenAI's first dev day. So this week, I'm gonna do my best to do a little recap of all the massive AI news and other stuff from the last couple of weeks. We'll see how far we get. Let's get started with a recap of GitHub Universe. As I said, I was there in person, as, as the you know, outfit shows, and man, did we announce some really great stuff. So co-pilot was the big word. It was mentioned about a million and a half times, and some of the highlights are, uh, around GitHub Copilot are that Copilot chat, now with GPT-4, will be generally available to everyone in December, and it'll be included for free with your Copilot subscription. Now, if you haven't used it, Copilot chat is a new way to use Copilot inside your IDE via a great chat interface, but there's some new features too. So first, as I said, GPT-4 now powers it, so it's even more powerful. Uh, there's also inline chat. You can use slash commands, there are smart actions, and excitingly, Copilot Chat is coming to the JetBrains suite of IDEs. Copilot Chat is also coming to github.com and the GitHub mobile app. I'm very excited about this. And that's not the only Copilot news. In addition to Copilot for personal and Copilot for business, we announced GitHub Copilot Enterprise. And what's super slick about this is that Copilot Enterprise will be customized and trained on your own code base and documentation, meaning that it will be even better tuned and more customized for your needs. And there are also Copilot features coming to GitHub Advanced Security. And finally, we showed off our own version of the, for the future with GitHub Copilot Workspace from our research team at GitHub Next. And that's gonna start from issue creation and go all the way through deployment with AI helping every step of the way. So I've got all the details from GitHub Universe linked down below. You can also watch the sessions on YouTube and at githubuniverse.com. There is even more to talk about, but I do want to give a final shout out to one of my favorite announcements, the launch of our new monospaced font, Monospace, which is a new super family of monospaced fonts in five variants with three variable axes. And you can customize this to your heart's content, but even better, this font is open source. Uh, it's very, very cool. I'm a massive type nerd and I've spent, and this is not a joke, hundreds if not like thousands of dollars on, on monospaced fonts over the years. So I think that this is extremely cool and I've got that link down below as well. Moving on to Microsoft Ignite, that took place this month too and there was also, as expected, a ton of AI news. Copilot was also the word du jour at Ignite with Bing Chat now being known as Copilot and there are now more enterprise features. And Microsoft also announced Microsoft Copilot Studio, which is a low-code tool to customize Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. And you can also build standalone Copilot. So this is a great way to build your own Copilot for your organization, but to also manage all of your Copilots in one platform. This is in addition to the new Azure AI Studio and the Azure OpenAI Studio. And in hardware news, Microsoft announced its first AI chips, the Azure Maya 100 and Azure Cobalt 100. These have been a long time coming and it's, it's really cool to see hardware advancements that are going to eventually help propel our software even further. Again, I've got all the news from Microsoft Ignite linked down below, but there's a ton of stuff. And finally, OpenAI had its first dev day and I was there and it was a really great event. The big highlights from OpenAI, again, linked down below, are a new GPT-4 Turbo model, which has 128,000 context window, as well as a new JSON mode, as well as reproducible outputs. There's also a new assistant API for building your own GPTs, and the OpenAI API now has access to GPT-4 Turbo with Vision, Dolly 3, and text-to-speech stuff. OpenAI has lowered the price on GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, and they've added higher rate limits. And Whisper, which is one of my favorite OpenAI projects, and this is an open source tool that basically does speech and translation recognition like effectively and efficiently, is now in version three. I've got more details on all of this linked down below. <sighs> okay, that was a lot of news. We didn't even cover everything, but like I wanted to like not be here for an hour. And on that note, 
now it's time for my pick of the week. There is going to be a limited edition Willy Wonka themed Xbox including an edible chocolate controller. Look, I'm not super enthused by the new Willy Wonka movie, and I say this as somebody who really loves Timothy Chalamet, but who doesn't love a chocolate controller? This limited edition one-off giveaway uh, a la Willy Wonka himself, like a golden ticket thing. Now, I asked Phil Spencer if I could get one of these. He said no, but you can enter the contest yourself, so I've got that link below. What is uh, your favorite tech uh, product that you would like to see as chocolate? Let me know uh, in the comments down below, or let me know your thoughts on anything else that we covered. And that's gonna do it for me this week. Uh, if you liked this uh, video, please give us a like on YouTube because it helps the algorithm out. And go ahead and subscribe to the GitHub YouTube channel for all your nerd needs. We will be out next week for US Thanksgiving, but I'll be back the week after that. And uh, have a great time with all the co-pilot stuff, guys. See you next time.